Hey everyone! In today's video I'm going to be going through and decluttering all of my powders. So these are like my setting powders and my finishing powders and things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first thing I have the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder and I have mine in the shade Classic Ivory. And as you can see I'm almost out of mine but I love this stuff so 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 much. It looks so natural on the skin. Um, and it provides just the slightest amount of coverage. It's not a full coverage powder by any means. But I do wear this on my own um, a lot of days when I don't want to put on a lot of makeup. So I've already repurchased another one because I really love it. Alright, this is another Maybelline one. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. This is one in the shade Translucent. Translucent. Um, I've already been through one of these before. And I really, really love this powder. Um, it's just super finely milled. And it doesn't leave like that white cast on my face um, because it's just kind of like a nice natural beige color. It's not one of those white translucent powders, so it looks really nice on the skin. Um, it does mattify, but it also, I noticed that it doesn't mattify to the point that it doesn't let your natural luminosity come through. So I really love that about this one. Super affordable, and I highly recommend this one too. Alright, this one is by Wet n Wild. It's their Photo Focus Pressed Powder, and I have mine in the shade Warm Light. Now this recently just came out and a lot of people were raving about it. Um, I bought the foundation that goes with this and I love, love, love the foundation. This is kind of one of those baked ones and it is finely milled as well. Um, it feels really nice but I noticed that I can't wear it really like in the summer or spring when I am more oily because it really doesn't uh, mattify very much. So I can kind of wear it in the winter time as like an under eye setting powder or something like that. So yeah, I'm going to keep it just for that purpose, but don't buy this one if you're oily for like an all-over setting powder because I don't think it really works for that. This is another, oh, it's dirty. This is another one of my favorite products. This is by e.l.f. Um, this is their Beautifully Bare Finishing Powder, and I have mine in the shade Fair Light. Um, it's really, really gorgeous. I've hit pan on this one, so I'm going to repurchase it. Super finely milled. Um, this one's a little bit more sheer. So it doesn't have as much coverage. I don't know why I'm swatching it. It doesn't have as much coverage as like that Maybelline Better Skin one that I was showing you. But this is a really, really beautiful finishing powder. Um, it does keep you matte all day, free from oil, but it still is kind of similar to the Maybelline Translucent one. It still lets your natural luminosity kind of show through. So love this one. Super affordable. Going to keep it. All right, this one I'm not going to keep. This is also by e.l.f. This is the High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. Um, it's like really white. And I noticed that it almost has hints of like glitter in it. It's supposed to be like a dupe for that Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Um, I've never tried that, so I can't say if it's a dupe or not, but I just do not like this. It just makes my under eyes look like white and glittery, so I do not like that. I'm going to pass that one on. I'm going to pass on this one as well. This is the Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighting Powder, and I know it says it's a highlighter, but it's really not very pigmented, so... What I like to do is when I bake the face, which I'll talk about, like I bake with loose powders like this underneath my eyes and like down the center of the face. When I get ready to dust it off, I do like to take a powder to dust it off because if you dust off um, your bake with just a brush that has no powder on it, it can kind of leave streaks or kind of pull at some of the product. Whereas if you have powder on it, it kind of makes for a more seamless brush off for the bake. So sometimes I like to take a powder that has just a hint of sheen to it, something like this, to kind of uh, go under it because it kind of gives that extra luminosity to the face um, if you brush off your bake with something like this. But this one is a little bit too glittery for that purpose, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it on. My favorite powder to do this with is the Wet n Wild Bronzer and <laughs> the shade Reserve Your Cabana. So this a lot of people can use as a highlight. Um, for me, I don't really use it as a highlight, but you can see focus here it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. it has a little bit of shimmer but once you like blend it out on the skin it just gives your skin the most beautiful uh, luminosity so I do like to use this one to brush away my bake so I'm gonna keep that one and this is also super affordable I think it's like three or four dollars for this like huge pan it's like the size of my hand all right this I'm gonna get rid of this is by color mates and I got it at the Dollar Tree it's actually a pretty good powder but if you can see it has like these little like balls on it <laughs> I don't know what it is but it actually is a pretty finely milled powder and it does look nice on the skin this color is just a little bit too pinky toned for me so I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on this is a sample of the bare minerals bare skin perfecting veil in the shade light to medium I think I got it with like points on Sephora 
it just doesn't do anything for my skin. I can like dig and dig in here and it looks like I'm getting a lot of like pigmentation, but I just, I feel like it doesn't do anything for my skin. So I'm going to pass it on. All right. This, I have two of these Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powders. Um, this one is in the shade Trans, oh, Transparent, not Translucent. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one, but I am going to keep the one in the shade Silky Beige. But I love 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 this powder it does keep me mad all day but I do not recommend using this to set like your under eye area because it does look a little bit cakey um you just want to use this very lightly all over the face it doesn't have any coverage to it but this one does have a little bit of color but yeah just don't go anywhere underneath your eyes or like even on your t-zone really with it uh with it like really concentrated like setting anything I would just use this like lightly all over the face so I'm gonna keep it though um, this one, same story, only opposite. So I like to use this one only underneath my eyes. This is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. Um, it's really silky too. I, I really enjoy this setting my eyes, but I don't really like it all over the face. So it kind of looks cakey when I use it all over the face, but it looks really good when I set my under eye with it. So I'm not really sure why that is. But I do really enjoy this. This is actually the second one I've gotten because the first one I had, I dropped and it busted into a billion pieces. So be careful with this one if you drop it um, because the powder is so soft and finely milled it can break really easily. So I'm going to keep that one and I recommend it. <sighs> okay, this is where it gets a little bit hard for me. I know that I don't need to keep all three of these setting powders. So I'm going to get rid of one, I think. I love them all equally. That's why I'm going to have a really hard time with it. But like I said, I really don't need both or all three. Hmm. I think I'm going to get rid of the Cody Airspun loose face powder just because the scent is crazy. And I know that they sell a, um, like an unscented version. This smells like just that classic, like old lady makeup smell. And that's the only way I can describe it, but it is such an amazing face powder. I highly, highly recommend it. You can find it at Walmart or Walgreens. It's normally not even with the makeup. I normally find it like kind of by the nail polish section, but it is so, so good. I hate to get rid of it. I just don't need three loose powders. So yeah, I might repurchase this again someday though. Now this one I chose to keep over the Cody because I know that I can buy the Cody anywhere. Whereas the NYC, I think that they're discontinuing it. Well, not discontinuing the line, but I think that they're going to stop selling it in Target, which is the only place I can ever find NYC. This is their Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. This is so, so, so amazing to set like your under eye with and to bake with. Um, it leaves the skin looking super, I don't know, just like smooth. Like I said, smooth skin. So I'm going to keep this one. And I actually don't have a crazy amount left. And then my favorite favorite is the original RCMA No Color Powder. You can only find it on like certain online websites. Um, I bought mine on Beautylish.com. It's only about $10, so it's really affordable and you get a bunch of product in here. I love this to bake with. The only thing I hate is it kind of looks like, like a salt shaker, so I don't use this. I will typically, I just about to make a mess on here. I'll typically just take the lid off and put some like onto my hand or like in, I'll just like pour it into the cap. So yeah, I love this one too. Oh, my husband is home. So I really love this one and I'm gonna keep it too. All right, so overall I'm getting rid of six of my powders and I'm keeping nine. So that's not too bad um, since I have a lot of powders that I really, really enjoy. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.